One, two, three, four, five. Fuck. Five or six is pretty much the max I can do as far as these spring jumps go. But anyway, guys, welcome back to How to Move Like Shotzi. We're looking at spring jumps this time. I have been talking about spring jumps for a while. You guys have been asking about spring jumps for a while. So let's finally talk about it. I'm going to break it down. I think I have a method to the madness, a way to make it a little easier for you. Uh, we're going to talk about a couple ways to spring jump, but before I even talk about my technique, uh, let's just talk about what the spring jump is in the first place. Uh, it's very basic uh, from like in terms of what it sounds like you're doing at least. The execution is difficult, but just jump, hold crouch in the air, land on the floor while still crouched. As long as you land on the floor in crouch out of your jump, you're ready to spring jump. Doesn't matter how high you were in the air, doesn't matter when you jump, you just have to fall from some point in the air and land in crouch and now you're ready to spring jump. In this moment here, you can actually walk around and reposition yourself anywhere you want to go as long as you stay in crouch. Now the next part to actually get the spring jump correct is to release the crouch button while almost simultaneously jumping basically. So you're releasing your crouch button and jumping and the distance between the two actions is so short that you're basically doing it at the same time but really there's like a frame like a 60th of a second in between those two actions so release crouch and jump and you'll do a spring jump that was actually one right there I'm surprised I got it after sitting there for so long but you'll see here's a normal jump and then there's a spring jump which is quite a bit higher than a normal jump uh, and that's important and I can't even of course I can't get it now there we go and it's important because it allows you to do things that you normally wouldn't be able to do like this for example I can't reach here even if I like stabilize jump I can't reach it but if I spring jump I got it in one try right so spring jump is huge and that's just the basic area to do it by the way guys if you want to practice spring jumps the rig is the best place to do it it's honestly a spring jump playground there's another spot uh, right here, which you can do this in a couple ways, but spring jumping is one of them that you can practice. Uh, this spot, which is actually pretty difficult, but it's a spring jump into a thrust, into a st uh, stabilize, and then you can clamber over that, so that's another location. There's also one over there that lets you go up to the catwalk or even that spot. So a lot of places, and of course, the one that Shotzi does makes it look easy, um, which this one's really hard to do and I'm not gonna try more than a couple times but from the lo bottom window here uh, bottom of tower to top of tower which I've done it before but it is not easy and I'm not gonna sit here trying to do it okay so how can you master the spring jump there's uh, a couple ways now I don't know if you guys ever heard of the start button method that's also a way to perfectly spring jump every time if you haven't heard of it basically you have to uh, jump hold jump and crouch the entire time in this process so jump and hold jump and crouch press start while you have start button pressed keep jump and crouch held now that start button has been pressed you can let go of crouch while you're still holding jump now if you press start again he's gonna come out of the start menu in a frame perfect uh, spring spring jump and I guess the reason why he did this for whatever reason if you're holding crouch and start when you press the start menu it like holds those inputs and then when you release the crouch and you let go of the start menu it'll it'll basically resume the game with whatever button that you're holding down while frame perfectly releasing all of the other buttons that you've released in the start menu so in this case we've released the crouch so it's gonna frame perfectly input jump uh, which probably wouldn't have worked there, but like that. And you're going to come out with a spring jump every time. And there's a pretty easy way to getting that consistent. If you jump, I would say jump, hold, jump, and crouch uh, in the air and press start as early as possible. That way you get a lot of time to think about releasing your thumb off the crouch or whatever you use to crouch. Uh, so that when you press start again, it's it's pretty easy. So that means that like I'm gonna do this whole process with the start button before I even land on the box. There you go. And I just came out of the box in the perfect spring jump. So you can actually connect those together. And I missed the stabilize, but you could perfectly do that jump every time with the start button method if you wanted to. Just got to make sure 
There you go. Just got to make sure you hit the box. Now, that's possible. The only issue with the start button method is the fact that you can't really change the momentum in your spring jump. So, like, you're stuck in the start menu. You can't really, it's hard to spring jump out certain directions or to do it immediately once you hit the floor and use that momentum to go forward or left or right. So, you can't really control that. So, I don't recommend uh, getting used to just doing that, but you can do it if you want. Um, my method for spring jumping is it's still going to be really difficult like there is no easy way to do this i still can't do it i could barely do it 50 percent of the time uh there we go like at least 50 let's say there's two in a row three and then i messed up um so what i'm doing is i'm using bumper jumper first of all uh you don't have to use bumper jumper but i'm using bumper jumper uh so i'm jumping with left bumper and i crouch with the left stick now, instead of, like, the motion that I would have to do is I'd have to release the left stick while simultaneously pressing left bumper. I find it difficult for me, at least mentally speaking, to, like, lift my left thumb and press down on the bumper at, like, the same time, pretty much. So what I do instead is I take my left thumb that's originally in crouch position and I push it upward. So, like, I release crouch while simultaneously doing an upward push motion with my the thumb, like, the... Uh, the bone in the center of my thumb here and by doing so when I do that quick motion upwards and pressing jump at the same time it kinda it tricks my brain into doing the motion quickly every time like that and it's allowing me to get the spring jump pretty damn consistent considering I've only been practicing it this way for the last couple hours and and I'm pretty happy with the results so I would recommend that you guys try doing it in some sort of way that tricks your brain into always doing it quickly because in a in a tough scenario uh like in a, in a pressure high pressure scenario in an actual game you're gonna have to do this fast and it's gonna be hard if you're not comfortable in the, the normal way of doing it let's say uh and if the timing seems totally weird to you and you want to just familiarize yourself with the timing i'd also recommend changing your control scheme to a control scheme that has like this one fish stick where you can see that that all of the the crouch and the jump are both mapped to buttons so in this case a and b uh, that way if they're mapped on face buttons i think it's easier for somebody to just understand what the timing is like because you can just slide your thumb from b to a uh just to to do the the spring jump so i'm not saying change your control scheme permanently just like just to understand the timing of it so you'll see how oh, there we go so it's, you're definitely pressing X, or sorry, I'm pressing X because I have a button remap here, but you're definitely pressing the A button after you release the B button, just that time in between, it's really fast, and just kind of getting an understanding of how fast that is, I find mapping to the face buttons help. Anyway, guys, uh, my method, or you can call it Shy's way of doing this, is to use bumper jumper and to flick the control stick upwards while simultaneously pressing that left bumper. So pretty much the timing where my stick hits the top roof of here is kind of at the same time that I'm hitting the left bumper and it just it makes the action easier for me and it makes it pretty consistent. Let me know what you guys think. How many spring jumps can you do in a row? I think my personal record is six. Uh, and if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Love interacting with comments, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you around.